Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Today we are going to answer about what Allah Akbar means. And you know, uh, a Christian, uh, uh, very well known Christian, who is very active to speak about Islam, he said he make a statement about this. So we are going to correct what he said because he said that Allah Akbar mean God is great. You know, sometimes Christians, they sponsor Islam without knowing what they are doing. If we go in the old Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, we will find the following. And by the way, everything I say to you, please go check it out. Don't think, don't take things for granted. Okay, be smart. We will find that in the in the in the in the old Hebrew, we have a word which is al, and in the new Hebrew, we have a word which is il. However, both of them they mean God. So first, let us see what is al. And where we can find that as an example the name of the prophet daniel daniel is nothing but a complex of words dan and i and al so dan mean judge i mean my al mean god so god is my judge as simple as that so al is what is a word mean God here you notice with me that the Al is appearing at the end of the name why it's appearing in the end of the name you know uh, my own observ observation I find it like it's about how important this person is you know and uh, uh, what what is the statement is about like he's a person witnessing for God or he is a God himself when mostly speak about God himself we will notice that this Al will appear in the beginning of the word let us see more reference if we go and see the following names Israel, Mikhail, Ezekiel, all those in the old Hebrew was not really the way it is today. It was ending with A-L. So Israel wasn't L, it was Al. Same as Mikhail, it was Mikal. Same Ezekiel, it was Ezekiel. And there is some little different pronunciation as you see here there is more a so this is the ancient hebrew now what is that really telling us what is telling us that remember the hebrew is born of another language it's not really it exists by itself like there is it took time to develop as a language by itself but it's born of other language and always those words is coming from somewhere and the somewhere is the aramaic Remember, Abraham himself was an Aramaic man. He is not uh, coming from India or coming from uh, Sri Lanka. He is an Aramaic. So it's very normal that words which is used by the pagans before Abraham became a believer, which just a generic word of God is used again. This is not the name of God. Remember, when Moses came, he, 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 you know, he spoke to God. He said to God, what I'm going to tell my people about you? Who are you? He said to him, I am. So God never give a name. Like you see, Christians say uh, the Bible uh, have names for God, like Jehovah, Yahweh. Actually, uh, this is actually not, 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 those are not names. There's no names. Those are, let us say, are a, a attribute or a title for God. Uh, to, to make it clear, we are talking about God. As an example, even the word Elohim, it, it can be for uh, mean God. It can be even an angel. So, it's a, it's a, let us say, it's a phrase of respect for God, not a name. There's no names. And actually, in the whole Bible, you will not find names. And this is what we showed you. Like, if you go and look at the name of Israel, you will find that this is a complex of, of, of words, uh, 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 you know, mean struggling with God or, you know, going straight with God. So, Mikael is the same. Ezekiel is the same. There's no really a name as much it is a statement or... Uh, uh, making uh, a statement. If we go to different uh, reference, we will find the following. Gabriel, 
It was Gabriel. Gabriel, E A L. It used to be Gabriel. And you will notice in Arabic, Muhammad, he is using Gabriel, which means he is using this one. The new Hebrew, not the ancient. So Gabriel is Gabriel. Ishmael is Ishmael. And Muhammad again is using the eel, which means the new Hebrew. Samuel is Samuel. And Muhammad is using the new Hebrew. And Daniel, we spoke about it already. Uh, what does that tell us? It's telling us that Al, when it appears in the old languages, it presents God, the same as Il. It's nothing but the word mean God. And that will lead us to understand what Allah is about soon. If we go here in this verse in the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 92, and I choose this verse carefully because it's giving me a great example of the old Hebrew and the new Hebrew. In this verse, chapter 292, it says, man So what does that mean? The one who is an enemy for Allah and his angels and his prophet, his messengers, and Jibreel. This is Eel, Jibreel. The same as we said Eel, the new uh, Hebrew. In the new Hebrew, all right, Eel. But here we see, here we see Muhammad speaking about Mikael, but he don't say Mikael, he said Wamikal. So what Muhammad he used, he used the ancient Hebrew. He used A, L. So in this verse, we will find a great example how Il and Al is used in one verse. And this is obvious that Muhammad, he was a thief. He was just copying of somebody else. If we try to go to see some reference uh, in different place, we will find the following. Christians in Malaysia are forbidden to use the word Allah because it's not a name. Muslims reject that. If we go in the Quran, we will find the first verse in the Quran, and this is repeated all over the Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. You will notice that all the names of Allah, period, all of them, like you go and go and check the 99 names of Allah, all of them, they start with Al. Al, which means God. So, Bismillah al Al-Rahman al Al Rahim, Al. So all the names of Allah always start with a L, with no exception. Allah is the name of the God of Islam. Is not a word meaning God. It's very naive to say so. However, if we think about it. If Allah is uh, the name of God, then the name cannot be changed. To make it <coughs> sorry, to make it simple, if if my name is a Christian, you don't say you don't take the C from the first of my letters of my name because this is my name. You cannot do that. You cannot change the name. You cannot replace the name. With, you cannot add letters or take letters off. So if we go in the Quran and we read in Arabic, you will see here it says Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. As you see, the al 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 it's all over. Then we will see here the following: that Allah 
is nothing but the following a l la we showed you how al appear and then the same as ar rahman al rahman and then the same as al rahim what does that mean god la god rahman god Rahim. Sorry, here we have a mistake. Rahim. So we have Ar Rahman, Al Rahim, Al Lah. If you look with me here in the second verse, chapter 1, verse number 2, you will see that the letter which is exist in the beginning of this name, Allah, is disappearing here. Why? As I said, you cannot take something off the name. This is a holy name. We cannot take ellipses. We cannot take letters off. That will be a corruption. So that's mean that this is not really a name. This is not part of the name yet. This is additional. So look what the Quran says. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdu in Arabic mean thanks or praise or you know thank you. Then you say li la. which mean li la I'm using the mouse to write so forgive me it's not if it's not too much good so li la what li mean in arabic two so thanks to la i mean how clear we can make it more than this so when somebody says that the name of Allah, the name of the God of Islam, or the word of, of Allah is word being God, that's very ignorant. Because this is absolutely false, as you see. This is the true name of the God of Islam. This is why we can take off those letters to say thanks to Lah. If Allah is the name, who is Lah then? If this is, if this is the name, Allah then here Allah is gone there's a this is Li Lah what happened who, who, who is who is this Lah we are we are being thankful for is it a different God the Muslim would say sure no this is the same as Allah this is Lah so it's very easy very simple in the same time you will see here in the front of us all of them they start with a l as we said a l mean God so Al Rahman means God Al Rahman, God Rahman, God Rahim, God, uh, uh, you know, etc. All the names of Allah, all the names of Allah, all of them they start with A L. A L. Why? Because He is, those are names or, or attributes belong to Al. Who is Al? He is God. So, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, thanks to Lah. Let us continue. <laughs> you know, I noticed that most of people, they are just copy-paste. If you go in the internet, you will find tons of people saying the same, like this uh, a Christian person who said in his YouTube that Allah Akbar means God is great. Because most of people are not really educated, but they are copy-paste. This is the book of Mawlana Muhammad Ali, big shake. I don't know what kind of shake he is, but he is sh uh, very shaky. So he said here, if you read with me, Allah is not a contra contraction of Al-Ilah. You will notice that a lot of people, they are copying this. Allah is a counteraction of the Allah. Allah, I will show you that this is very ignorant to say too. We will analyze it and we will expose it. That's absolutely false. Even Arab Christian, they might say that. Even I, you know, as I told you, there's many people, even they claim to be priests, they are not educated. So let us prove how this is to be false. We will do it one by one. If we go uh, in the Muslim websites, this is Islam 
web.net official Islamic website very well known very famous all right <coughs> so the question here about the name of Allah I have been in discussion with a friend you can freeze the video so you can read it all just to save time then <coughs> or you can pause the video the answer is coming the name Allah can be translated as God for new Muslims so those guys they are being friendly saying okay you know what we have a new person who is new Muslim it's okay to say to him Allah is, is God you know for new Muslims uh, but in the Quran or in the Hadith we don't think it is accepted or uh, is a, 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 a you know approved rather it's an obligation to leave the name of Allah uh, in it is original form because this is the name Allah he uh, 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 is Allah the proper name for the our Lord so this is not the word mean God and all the Muslims they reject what this guy he said so are you speaking about the God of Islam or you are speaking about the God of the Christians when somebody says to me that uh, Christians Arab Christians they use the word Allah and that to prove that the word Allah mean God because the Arab Christian in the Middle East they use it as a word mean God that's a very false argument and actually very naive because the Arab Christians in the Middle East, they've been forced to, do, to change everything they have. Imagine if we send one of you to live under ISIS for one day. You will change your clothes, you will change your name, you will change your haircut, you will change your food, you will you change everything. So those poor Christians are living under the filth of the Islamic occupation for 1400 years. So you don't judge what and how this name work and how it change and how it came to be by Christians in the Middle East using it as a word mean God. They are using it as a word mean God because they don't believe in Allah anyway. Because they've been forced to. And this is why you see the Muslim themselves, they don't accept anyone to say that Allah is a word mean God. You know, it, the, the, the meaning of God can come like automatically with it because when you say like when I say Trump I mean the president because now he is a president but yesterday before the election if I say Trump I don't mean the president so there is a value include in the word because this name supposedly is the name of the God so you do not need to say Allah is a word meaning God for Allah is the name of this God so it's very naive to say such a statement even the Muslim don't agree with you we continue. If we go to Sahih al-Bukhari, and I will show you the reference, as you see the hadith here in front of you. Uh, this is the reference. Let me turn this one off so you guys can see the numbers. All right. So in Sahih al-Bukhari, you will notice that they are talking about how Muhammad started his religion. When Muhammad started his religion, his wife Khadija, she took him to her uh, cousin, who he was a pagan person who became a Sabian, and then he became a Nasara. Nasara is not a Christian. Many people, they think Nasara is a Christian. He did not, like here they translate, they say he became a Christian. The fact, it doesn't say even that in Arabic. It says, he became a Nasrani. Nasara are a cult like Jehovah's Witnesses, rejected by the Christians. So this guy, it says here, Wakana, uh, his, his real name, look at his name. Waraq ibn Nawfal ibn Asad ibn Abdul Uzza. He is the son of his grandfather, his name, the slave of Al Al Uzza. You see? Al Uzza starts with A L. His grandfather, his name is the slave of Uzza. Slave of one of the pagan gods. So then, then this guy, according to the hadith here, he became Nasrani, not a Christian. In the translation, as you see here, they said Christian. 
and then it says and he used to write the Arabic writing of what what Arabic writing of what of the Bible of the gospel so he became Nasara not a Christian and he used to write Arabic writing and he used to write the gospel in Arabic as much as Allah wished him to write this is the manuscript the real script of the Quran this is the founder of the Quran this is why you see Muhammad when this guy he died Muhammad he tried to commit suicide many times if you go down here you will see it says that the inspiration of Allah uh, uh, Waraka he died when Waraka he died the inspiration of Allah paused read with me Waraka died and the divine inspiration was also paused now what the, what the connection between divine inspiration and death of a man his name is Waraka and he's not a prophet and then for a while and the prophet became so sad as we heard he he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains so muhammad was so badly injured by the death of waraqa because now he cannot fabricate quran and i believe what happened muhammad later he was able to get the book which waraqa was translating and then he start you know reading from it i believe strongly muhammad he knew how to write how to read and we can prove it easy so this is a book written by waraqa about a gospel of his own translation we don't know what he wrote there so uh, as you see here from the beginning the muslim they say to you as allah wished him to write as allah wished him to write but the arab they use the name allah even the father of muhammad his name is abdullah okay he is the name of abdullah so allah is exists before muhammad and the Arab they worship Allah and he is was the, the one of the gods of Islam you know there is many like many statements they say like uh, the Arab they used to worship many gods however by worshiping those gods they try to get it close to Allah uh, uh, some of those statements are true but some are false because there's other gods too they were in competition with Allah and, and uh, many other religions in exist in the Arabian Peninsula even Mecca they don't even worship Allah at all and we will show you that very soon if we go in the Quran chapter 34 verse number 3 you will see that the word Akbar as we see it here in Arabic let us look together this is the word Akbar the word Akbar translated by Muslims sometime greater and sometime larger and sometime bigger bigger so akbar is not really about greater just to give you some uh, little arabic actually let, let us show you more verses and then i will i will i will give you a note about arabic in chapter 10 verse number 61 you will see the following the translation appear again for the word akbar this is the word akbar bigger 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 you will notice in the arabic here we have the word asghar asghar means smaller what made this word uh, come as a smaller in Arabic, simply, if you add in the front of a name, this is a, like, uh, let us say, uh, 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 most of the cases, you know, let us say we have a person, his name is Jamil. Jamil. Jamil means uh, like handsome, beautiful. Jamil. So Jamil means beautiful. We want to make this name he is more beautiful which means we are comparing between him and someone else so what we do we add in the front of it a ah. that will make him a jamal and this is exactly what is the case of akbar 
Akbar is you comparing between two things at least. It might be more than two things. So let us say we have 100 students, but this guy is Atwal. Atwal. Atwal mean he is taller. So how we make him taller, How we what we added, the word in Arabic is tawil, we added in the front the letter A, and that make it atwal, which means he is taller. Not tallest, taller. There is, you know, same as in English, you have big, bigger, and biggest. In Arabic here, we are talking about the word bigger as you see. So if Allah, he is saying he is a greatest, as some Muslim try to fool us, and some naive Christians, they try to copy-paste. Allah is the greatest from what? You see, you cannot compare between two from different kind. The Muslim themselves, they say to us, Allah is not like anything. So how he say that he is Akbar? If the word Akbar means the greatest, how he say he is the greatest? Greatest in what? He is not from the same kind, so he can't be compared. How you can compare a human to small, tiny, Cockroach, how you can co compare God to the whole earth is nothing for God. You know, we, you see the whole galaxy, the earth is in the in the, uh, in the galaxy. We have many galaxies and the earth is not even a dust in this galaxy. So imagine we compare God and we say he is Akbar. Akbar from what? This is an insult. But what the fact, what happened, they were talking about a God who is Akbar as an idol. Around Kaaba, there is many idols. And everyone, every god have a name, and every god have an idol to present him in the in the in the earth. All those gods supposedly are living in the sky, but they have an idol down in the earth. Let us read more. A poetry man, his name is Aus ibn Hajar. He said, swearing by Allah, he said. وَبِاللَّاتِ وَالْعُزَّةِ وَمَنْ دَانَ دِينَهَا وَبِاللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مِنْهُنَّ أَكْبَرَ I swear by Allah, Allah, and Al-Uzza, and Al-Lah, huh? that Al-Lah is bigger than them. What is Allah and what is Al-Uzza? It's an idol. And he is using the word Akbar comparing to how big he is and how small they are. And that's very normal because when they design them, remember, Allah and Al-Uzza, they are the daughters of Allah. So they are smaller by size for two reasons. They are the daughters of this Allah, and then they are females. And always female as drawing to be smaller because this is no, no, no normal things to happen. Like male are bigger, female are smaller. If you go in the Quran, in chapter 23, verse number 14, you will find the following. You will find Allah compare himself to who? To Baal. Who is Baal? Baal is another moon god. You see, the funny about Islam, the Muslims do not know that there is competition about who is the one really the moon god. He is Baal. He is Sin. He is Lah. So those are in competition. But the fact, all of them, they present one god. So look what Allah he says here in chapter 23, verse number 14. I'm assuming that the one is talking is Allah because that will make it more funny. Look, Allah is saying that he created, and by the way, the way he created the human being is very funny, very stupid, because imagine he is saying that he created the the the, the, uh, 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 the nutfa, which means the sperm, became a clot of a congealed blood. And this is very funny, stupid. You know, a clear mistake in, 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 in science. However, this is not our topic. Allah is comparing himself to other creators. How he compare himself, he says, he is the best of the creators. Now, who are they the best in the creators he is speaking about? The other gods. Because this is cannot be correct unless there is other creators. Imagine I am the only student in the classroom and they say to you, I am the best student in this class. That is a that's a lie. That is a lie because I am the only one as a student in this classroom. So how you say to me, how you say to others, you are the best of the class when there is nobody else. It's a cheating. It's a stupid statement. So because Allah he agree that there is other creators, then 
he say he is the best of the creators and remember here he is talking about creating the human being other creators maybe they created birds and mosquitoes and etc as Jesus he did create a bird let us continue In the book of Al-Mustadrak Al-Sahihain, Kitab Al-Hijra, you will see that Ali, he broke the Akbar Sanam. He broke what? The Akbar Sanam. What is that? Akbar is the biggest idol. And this is was the biggest. فَأَلْقَيْتُ صَنَمَهُمْ akbar. So I climb over the Kaaba and they have Akbar Sanam, the biggest idol. So what the Arab used to do, the one who is victorious, he is the one, the, the majority of people worship him, they took their biggest uh, idol and they placed it in the top of the Kaaba. And that means he is the biggest God. He is Akbar. So whoever is placed there is called Akbar. This is why Muhammad was saying Allahu Akbar because now Allah is bigger than yours. You used to have bigger there. You have to use your idol there. You used to have Hubal there. You have to use Uzza there. You have to use Allah. However, Hubal was mostly is the bigger and some in different area they have Baal, depending on location. Uh, in, the, in the Arabian Peninsula, there's more than 26 Kaaba. One of them is the one located in Mecca. Let us continue. In the uh, in the British Wikipedia and the book of Dr. Yusuf Al Qimni, he is a Muslim, Sayyid Al Qimni. Uh, he proved with no question that there was three gods. They are the major gods in the Arabian Peninsula. So he said the following, and for sure you can go and check his book, uh, 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 print number two, page number one fourteen. You will see he is stating there with all the proofs and reference that there was a three gods, the moon god, the sun god, and they have a son, which is Ishtar. And then the big god of this competition, he is the moon god, and that is La. So what he say here, well, Ilahu Akbar, do you see the word Akbar? This is the word Akbar. So always in those religions, there is a there is Akbar. There is God who is Akbar. Akbar in what? If we go to the Quran itself, we will see how Akbar is described. We remember that we have the story of Abraham in the Quran. But before we go there, look in chapter thirty-seven, verse number twenty-five. It says, "Are you going to worship Baal? Baal?" and forsake Allah the great, the, the best of the creators. We will go back to that later to make it, to give it more details. Uh, if we go in the, in the hadith, you will find that it says that we used to worship stones. And when we find a better stone, Then the first one, we would throw the first one and take the later. This is how the Arab used to live. They always worship stones. And this is why Muhammad, he kissed black stone. Black stone is nothing but from the previous religion exists before him who worship and bow down to the stones. In different hadith, we will find that Muhammad he used to go down, he used to go to the stone and he kiss it and he put straight in the front of it, as you see in the front of you with the reference. He used to kiss the black stone and put straight himself on it. Now, why Muhammad is doing that? What what is the what is the purpose of this? If we go back and search for the story of Abraham. 
I don't want to miss that one. Let us see. Qara bazigatan. In chapter 6, verse number 78, and actually 70, uh, uh, 7, 76, I advise you to read it all. You will see, and this is the Muslim translation, remember, and it's not my translation. <clears throat> when he, when the night curved him, curved who? Abraham. It's a story about, all the story is about Abraham, as you see. So when the night curved him, he saw a star and he said, this is my Lord. And then when the star disappeared, he said, I don't like the one who said. So Abraham, he worshipped first a star. Then he saw the moon and then he said, this is my Lord. And then when the moon disappeared, he said, I don't like the one who disappeared. Then he saw the sun rising in splendor. He said, this is my Lord. This is the greatest of all. Is it really saying the greatest? Absolutely false. In Arabic it says, Hada Akbar. He is the greatest in what? We are talking about the physical objects. How he can be greatest? What is the greatest? What the greatness of sun over the moon and the star? The sun is a star anyway. This is showing us how stupid the one who made the Quran. Why the sun is the greatest? Because it looks bigger, powerful. So it is Akbar. If we go in Arabic, we will find the following. We don't find the word the greatest. We will find that this is bigger. Look what it says. akbar. This is bigger. And obviously he is comparing between sizes and he is comparing between who which one to worship and what is his favorite his final decision it was Akbar God the biggest God the the star is so far is so tiny so small then he saw the moon is bigger and then he saw the Sun is the biggest so he said this is Akbar you will notice he did not say that about the moon and about the star he said that about the sun let us see more because we have still a lot more to share <clears throat> we mentioned to you before that the word bal if you remember end with al and we mentioned to you that the word alat start with al al uzza start with al so sometimes the word al as word mean God can be in the beginning. Sometimes can come at the end, as we showed you in the name of Mekal, where Muhammad himself he used the same word Mekal exactly. You will see here that the Quran chapter thirty-seven verse one twenty-five says, "Will you call upon Baal, what his name Baal, and forsake the best of the creators?" So here actually. The word in Arabic is Ahsanul Khaliqeen. You remember we told you if you want to make something better, you add a at the end at the beginning of the of the word. You add the letter A, if you remember. So here Quran added the word A before the word Hassan. 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 You know, let me write it for you here. Hassan. As I said, I'm using the mouse, so the writing is not good. So to make Hassan Ahsan, which means Hassan mean good or fine, and then to make it better or better than the one after it, whatever the description is, I say Ahsan. So obviously Akbar and Ahsan, and it's, uh, there is many descriptions in the Quran full of those things. Allah is bigger, Allah is better, Allah is etc. All of them they are using a ah to make him bigger, either in size or better in uh, you know in creation as you see here it says he is the best of the creators how this can be 
this must be a, mis a mistake because there is no other creator save Allah supposedly by by Allah comparing himself to Baal and saying he is the best of the creators he just admitted that he is a creator the same as Baal is a creator but yet he is the best and that obviously is admitting from the one who wrote the Quran that Baal is a creator however we have a competition we have Ba and L and we have Allah L L La They are in competition together. Who is the best of the creators? So Allah is saying to those, well, supposedly Muhammad, saying that, okay, you have Baal, but uh, 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 I have better, he is better creator, my Allah is better, my God, which means Al, La, is better. He is the best of the creators. So if you ask Muslims how Allah can be the best of the creators, they will say to you, here the Quran is exaggerating, there's no other creators. That's false. Or if he's smart, he will say to you, okay, there's someone who cre created a phone. Don't be stupid. This verse is talking about creating a human being, giving life. It doesn't say about creation. When God, when, when uh, you know, like uh, religious books speak about creation, it's not creating a book of computers. Don't be stupid. Stop being a potato. It's about the creating a life. So Allah is saying he is the best of the creators and this is mean he approved that Baal is a creator but he is the best. And this is exactly what was happening in that, in that time. There's many gods and they are in competition. My God is better than your God. Okay, your God is a creator but my God is the best, the best of the creators. Then we will find something else. The issue did not over yet. Which is copy paste from everybody. First of all, there's nothing is called Al-Ilah. Who told you this is I? You see, in Arabic, when we write in English, we are trying to present the sound, but there is no I in the Arabic language. We are just trying to make a, a voice or a sound. So I can make it ill. Ill. Let me switch the language. <clears throat> Uh, what's happening? La ilaha illa la la here mean no, there's none illa except aha. <laughs> you see, la ila aha. So, what this is e e l aha simply it is e l no eel. No eel, aha, is, a, is, is kind of uh, saying there's no eel worth to worship. No, la, this is la. So forget about it. This is what means no. There's none. Eel, God. Aha, worth of worship. So la ilaha illa al, except, this is mean, again, remember, this is mean, except, except al. La. So the word uh, 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 Allah is not coming from uh, uh, ilah. There's nothing it's called ilah. It's not even one word. It is two words. It's il aha. Il is God. Aha is word to worship. So. We, we we should not copy paste from others and just say okay because everybody's saying the same we repeat and we say the same this is absolutely false la ilaha actually it's confirm what we said about al and il then you will find here just a collection of names used by uh, uh, many nations of Al Al Uzza, Al Lat, Allah, A L La, and then Al Masih in Arabic. Al Masih, A L, you see, Al Masih in Arabic, Al Masih, 
Why El Masih he have A L in front of him? For he is God. The Muslim, the ignorant, they copy, they copy the name of El Masih without noticing that they just copy a, a, a complex word, which means the God Christ. Same as Allah Ha, which is some they say Ilah, because as we as we mentioned to you before, if you remember, through history. A L A L became A L. So this is what people they think it is Ilah. You know, they think it is Ilah. It's not really. It's not. It's not it is Ilaha. Ilha, worth of worship. As you see, there is A H A. We're trying just to make the sound, not L A H A A H. So we have a very misunderstanding, and people they are really uh, need to understand that not everything they hear is true. Be careful, for many they are copy paste. Not necessarily they are trying to deceive you, but you know. Like I, I heard myself in the churches where they say that Ishmael is the father of the Arab. You ask the priest, where you get this from? You have no idea. Bishops, high authority in the churches. Nobody want to sit and study carefully before he open his mouth. And we have to understand that sometimes people, they might say something that might be true. And sometimes people, they might say something that might be very wrong. And it's on you to investigate what is true and what is wrong. So please be sure to investigate before you accept what people they say to you. To contact me and ask me more questions, as you see, we have in the screen in front of you. This is my address. And you can click there, actually, and you can go to my uh, page in Facebook or in Twitter. And you can contact me if you wish to do so or if you'd like to help us in donation. God bless you and thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I mean to that.